In this video, I'll be challenging myself to make a scratch game, combining two ideas, so let's get into it. So the first thing I needed to do was think of two ideas. The first game idea I had in mind was a Flappy Bird game, and the second game idea was a racing game. And these are the game ideas where I'll be combining together. So first, I started making the Flappy Bird mechanic, but I realized that cars can't fly, so I made it look like it's from a top-down perspective instead. Second, I worked on the obstacles that the player has to dodge. So I thought of bushes instead of pipes, because it makes more sense, obviously. Next, I thought of adding a fuel system. So basically, fuel will decrease while you're driving. So the fuel system took way longer than I thought. So I don't want to bore you with the whole entire thing. Like, I actually don't know how long it took. Anyways, and whenever the fuel is low, the fuel container will appear and you have to collect it to regain fuel. And I think that makes the game more challenging because Flappy Bird is too easy. Anyways, there was still something missing, and that was sounds. So I looked for car sound, and I made it so that the engine pitch lowers when the fuel is low. I also made up a pickup sound effect when you pick up the fuel container. The last thing is that when you crash into bushes, it also has sound effect, because everything needs sound. Like background music, which I also made. And to polish up the game, I made some sort of menu, like in the Flappy Bird game. I also made that the car changes randomly every time you play, so it doesn't get boring. I also made it so that when you crash, you kind of get flashbang, just like a Flappy Bird game. And finally, I added the difficulty button so players can adjust to their level. The last thing I had to do was giving my game a name. Flappy Bird car game? No. Flappy car? No. Wait, wait. I think I got it. Drivey car. You can also try out the game in the link in the description below. Anyways, this is the end of the video, and thanks for watching.